Hello, welcome to day two of singing my diary to you for 100 days. Uh, this is gonna be, we're starting in January of 2020, and I have this, they will not all be this pretty, but this is a thing that I wrote that day, so I'm gonna sing it to you. Um, it's this, you can kind of see there's all these bubbles and clouds that have 2020 goals on them and kind of a vision of how I wanted to, what I wanted to embody this year. So you're going to hear all of it. Don't worry. And I'll include commentary about how it's going. Again, this is all stuff that's in the song. <laughs> so you're excited. Um, all right, without any further ado, because I don't want to edit this. Do you? No, nobody does. We just want to do one and done. That's what they call me. Katie, one and done. All right. It's the first day of the year and I'm excited to be here. I'll lock myself in my room and journal. I'll draw a bunch of clouds and fill them up with my dreams. All of my visions that are bursting at the seams. How do I want to be in 2020? How high will I set the bar? How do I want to be in 2020? And how am I doing so far? I read so much all of the time. I am constantly learning new things. You know, I bought a bunch of books this year and I've started at least seven and maybe finished one. I think. I have a thriving coaching practice that inspires me to grow and expand daily. Define thriving. I have a coaching practice. Is anyone taking advantage of it? A few people, a smattering of people. If you want to be my coaching client, honestly, send me, just comment below. <laughs> okay, um, what is that? A limiting belief? It's thriving. It's thriving, everything's thriving. I nurture my friendships and focus my energy on people who energize me. That sounded wonky, but I'm doing that, just so you know. <laughs> if you're somebody I devote my energy to, it's because I want to. I think. My life is full of creative expression. I write every morning. I draw every night. I jot down ideas throughout the day. I could do more jotting, but we do a lot of writing. Mornings are sacred to me. I spend the first hour of every day without my phone, allowing myself to write from my own spirit and energy. We do that. I sing every day. I write music. My voice is opening. Shows that I love improv and stand up. We could be doing more shows, but also there's a global pandemic and it's tricky, kind of. I'm honest and direct in all of my relationships. Mm, I think so. Sometimes I'm indirectly honest or directly dishonest. I'm never directly dishonest. I'm always just slightly less honest than I could be. Never in a detrimental way, intentionally, but it's usually out of self-preservation. This was honest to say. I'm working on a book of short memoir type stories, which I will both write and illustrate. I did 
did this. I'm doing this. I'm writing it right now. It's called Fed Up and it's about reclaiming our lives from diet culture. It's about my own recovery from an eating disorder and just a lot of disordered food thoughts for our, my whole life. And it's fun. It's cartoons. Uh, one day there's going to be a link in this video to that. Last one. I tricky one. Um, I've been celibate for since the middle of January. Spoiler alert for future songs. And I would say though that I am my own partner. Like that's kind of been the point of my celibacy. And I do love and support me and they make me feel like my best me. So that's cool. I'm going to go ahead and say check. We did it. We're doing it. In 2020, 20, how high will I set the bar? How do I want to be in 2020? Well, this is how I'm doing so far, so far. We had mess ups, but we don't have time to redo this. We got a hundred days ahead of us, okay? Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time. This was fun.